Be Healy. Uh, thank you. Ah, oh, no, please. Uh, the, time, the time is very limited. Deputy Healy, you have short of three minutes. Yes, Kieran Corla, the cruel capitalist extremist policies of recent governments have devastated Irish society, have devastated low and middle income families, have created poverty, poverty for families and for children, and in fact have facilitated the evictions from family homes. And of course it has left our country with a chaotic health service and a housing and homeless crisis. And in the very short time available to me, I firstly want to address Minister Harris in relation to health matters. And I want to say to him that nine months ago, he visited South Tipperary General Hospital in October of 2016. He described his position, the conditions at the hospital, and I quote, as utterly unacceptable. And, and also, quoting, he said, solutions must be found. He went on to say that a decision would be made before the end of the year. Nothing has happened. The hospital is a progressive, forward-looking, efficient hospital. But unfortunately, despite the best efforts of staff, there's horrendous chaos at the hospital. The month of June, just the month that we have, there has been as many as 31 trolleys on the corridors of the hospital. What? in God's name is it going to be like in the autumn and winter of, of the coming autumn and winter. Patients on trolleys have no dignity or privacy, they lack access to adequate bathrooms and washing facilities and staff are run off their feet and are struggling to provide a safe service in a hugely pressurised atmosphere. South Tipperary General Hospital has been in crisis for almost, for in fact, more than five years now. It has experienced savage budget cuts in that time in funding and staffing. And while all the time it has increased its, its activity, both at emergency department level, at outpatient level, and inpatient levels, the hospital, Las Corla, is bursting as it seems. It is operating at 130% capacity. The medical department is operating at 150% capacity. Normal capacity of full occupancy is regarded as 85%. The hospital urgently needs additional inpatient beds, as promised by the minister on his visit. And I want to now call on the minister tonight to fulfil that promise and to make funds available immediately for 40 additional inpatient beds to address the chaos at the hospital which has been caused by the policies of this and previous governments. Gor